Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Wine Review. I'm Ryan, a wine guy, bringing you a California uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It is Lise Fitch, or Lise Fitch, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Um, it's by a company called The Other Guys, The, the Other Guy Wines. However, it seemed like just recently they became uh, three three badge three badge beverage because now the website is now threebadge.com. Um, but they make and that might be why because uh, here's what the bottle looks like and it usually had this thing which you twisted it off and then that's a little um, topper so you don't have to put in your own little stopper it's its own little thing so that's pretty cool you just pull this off and pull that out and pour in the glass so that's why I have to see about um, their other wines because now their newer wines are just a simple twist off but some of their old stuff has this little uh, black thing that you would sort of peel off and then pop it open so you don't have to worry about any any corkscrews or anything like that uh, it's simple enough uh, some other stuff that they make are uh, this uh, Lee's Fitch uh, almost any any wines that, that you can find Merlots, Cabernets, Pinot Noirs um, they have a uh, a red blend that they make called Hey Mambo. They also make Pennywise. Then they make a Plungerhead Zin and a Plungerhead Cab. So those are some really good ones. Um, this one is a 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon. 13.5% alcohol. This wine celebrates our home. The Lee's Fitch Adobe. Built in 1836, this historical landmark in the Sonoma Plaza was named after Jacob Lee's and Henry Fitch, brothers-in-law to General Marino Vallejo, the founder of the town of Sonoma. Pretty cool. And on the front, across the plaza from Lee's Fitch Adobe is the Mission San Francisco Solano. Built in 1823, it is one of the oldest and most historic buildings in Sonoma. The final stop of the El Camino Rio, the King's Highway, that connects all 21 of California's Franciscan missions. Interesting. And before we begin, I will read you their website about the tasting notes showcasing a dark garnet hue with purple edges this Cabernet Sauvignon exhibits enticing aromas of blackberry cobbler dark cherry toasted coconut nutmeg and violets with hints of clove and muddled raspberries on the nose layered flavors of black currants pomegranate reduction tart cherry Mocha chocolate notes and dark caramel fill the palate. The finish shows hints of toasted coconut and rich vanilla. Uh, nonsense with balance of the dark fruit nicely. A solid year for winemaking. This is the notes. A solid year for winemaking. 2014 saw a warm and long growing season, which led to ripe fruit with ample time for tannins to mature on the vine. The majority of the Cabernet Sauvignon was sourced from excellent vineyards in Lodi, which offers the blend black cherry fruit and just a hint of spearmint. Um, actually, it goes on and on and on, but you can all go to their website, um, threebadge.com, because um, this is a long note. But the tasting notes are what's important. i like you all to know sort of what I'm going into, what we're going into. Well, me, me, myself, i like to know what I'm going into. So, let's start off on the nose. Uh, 
<sighs> you definitely get um, this blackberryness to it. Huge dark cherry aromas. You do get those little floral, like violets. I do get those uh, dark chocolate hints. Almost like a little coffee. A little... A little tartness on the nose. Like, I can definitely, like, smell something that's, like, really, really powerful. A little vanilla. And the hint of black currant. And those raspberries as well. Those, uh, I said those muddled raspberries. I am getting a little bit of that. I'm not really getting the coconut so much. Or the nutmeg. But, you know, every everyone's uh, nose is different. So... Maybe once it opens up. But, um, um, let's see what it's doing on the palette. Wow. Very nice. A very nice palette. Wow. Wow, this is incredible. Mm. It sort of hits you up front with the fruit. Blackberry. Raspberries. Cherries. It's sort of now becoming... Um, it's sort of now is sort of becoming a little tart as it starts... Um, um, lingering on the mouth it's sort of like a little tartness nothing like very tart like you know but a little a little a little tartness that sort of really ease the palate um, there's vanilla mm, gosh uh, I like I said there's this blackberry dark cherry red um, raspberries just just these nice fruitness to it and there's like no there's no grip to it there's really no huge jamness to it maybe a teeny tiny bit of jam but it's a very overall easy drinking wine a very nice a very nice enjoyable easy drinking wine um, it's like an everyday wine actually this is like an everyday Cabernet Sauvignon um, very good stuff um, Price-wise, you're looking at about fifteen dollars. Although you can probably find it between uh, as low as maybe ten ninety-nine on sale. Um, and you know, depending on where you live, it might be a little higher, might be even lower. But I would say ten is probably the least you would pay for this. Maybe seventeen the most. But you're looking at ten to fifteen dollar range. Um, let's see if there's any else that's sort of coming out um, now that I've been doing this for about nine minutes 30 seconds I had this open for about oh ten minutes before so it's been open now for about 20 minutes let's uh, give it another whiff and taste and see if there's anything else showing up I'm sort of now getting a nutmeg. 
sort of like bacon spices. I'm sort of now getting those uh, uh, that those bacon spices are coming out. Uh, maybe now that hint of clove it was talking about. Cinnamon, mocha. So a huge nose, really. A huge, huge, heavy nose. Um, so, I mean, it pretty much matches the notes. Uh, so, you know, just to sort of uh, go back and um, recap. Um, blackberry. Dark cherry. Um, that nutmeg. Violets. Uh, that clove I was now kind of getting. Um, there's bacon spices. Uh, I get nutmeg and cinnamon. Raspberries. Um, that mocha chocolate, dark chocolate, also sort of coffee. Um, and then on the palate one more time. Again, pretty simple, pretty simple fruit for fruits, cherries, blackberries. Um, I sort of am now getting this, those pomegranates. I think that's what's giving it this sort of tart taste. Um, maybe even some strawberry in there as well. Vanilla. Um, sort of like this uh, coffiness um, to it as well. Um, like an espresso sort of thing. Not, not, not like a heavy espresso, but like a light espresso. So, very, very, very nice. Um, it's so hard because I think now, like, th this is a one you want to let open up. You don't just want to pour it right away. I think you want to let it open up for at least 20, 30 minutes, and you'll really get everything that you need, or almost everything that you need, and I think you'll enjoy a lot better. So, with now, this have been opened up a little bit and being able to really just um, ease my palate I'm gonna give it a four and a half four and a half out of five stars this is a uh, really good cab and I think it has a um, a huge future ahead of it um, you know try this wine maybe buy a case and uh, put a few away for maybe uh, another three three to five years and See what it's uh, showcasting then, um, but you know four and a half for right now. Um, but you know this 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 little guy definitely can uh, can grow. I think another few years. Um, so with that, um, it's been nice as always reviewing wines with you all. Um, let me know if you've ever tried this, um, or if you haven't tried it and you do try it, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, well, until next time, I am Ryan, a wine guy. Cheers.